All right, so today I wanted to come to you, my network on YouTube, and ask you what I believe to be a very important question. The question is, do you think it would be okay? Would you be comfortable as a driver on the road knowing that truck drivers do not have to pass a drug test for marijuana? specifically marijuana. And as a truck driver, what do you think? Would you be okay with a driver, one of your fellow drivers driving and you know that he's under the influence of marijuana? Would that make you uncomfortable or would you look at that situation and say you believe that he would be able to take care of that truck, take care of himself, and it wouldn't be a concern for the general public? What would be your thoughts on that? Please share those thoughts in the comments section. And the reason why I'm asking you this question is because yesterday I read an article and this article was talking about marijuana testing has been the reason why there's a significant shortage of drivers in the United States right now. They are saying that about 60,000 drivers have not been able to drive because they failed the marijuana test. And once you fail that drug test, you go into this database and now other carriers will not hire you. So they are saying that this marijuana testing is becoming a real problem. Now, what I wanna know from you is what do you think about that? Would you be okay with going ahead and saying, you know what, drivers don't need to have a test and essentially saying that it's okay for them to drive and perhaps be under the influence of marijuana? And I just wonder what the driving public thinks about that and what other truck drivers think about that. So now here's how I see that situation. I was in the military at one time. And when I was in the military, there were certain rules. You couldn't do drugs. You couldn't smoke marijuana while you were in the military. If you did and you got caught, there were some severe consequences. Possibly you would get kicked out of the military. Well, I understand that there are some rules on this side as well. As a truck driver, you're subject to test. I think it's every quarter a driver has to take a test drug test and then if he has an accident he has to take a test so if you happen to get caught up in that and you're doing drugs and you get caught then it is what it is that's how i see that but now the other side of that is we're short 80,000 drivers and 60,000 drivers have failed a drug test for marijuana i understand and how i see that is i'm not as any more concerned about a driver or a truck driver driving and smoking marijuana than I would be about a person that's driving an SUV, a person that's driving a car. <laughs> I wouldn't be any more concerned about a truck driver than I would those people. So to take a man's license and put him in a database and not ever let him drive again because he came up hot on a marijuana test and you short 80,000 drivers, to me that just doesn't pass the common sense test. But I'm just one person, I would love to know what you think. But that's why I'm a freight broker. Because as a freight broker, I don't have to worry about <laughs> test, taking a marijuana test. I run my own business. I am in charge of my own life. I do what it is that I want to do. I guess that's kind of the freedom of running your own business and not having to be under the FMCSA and having all of those rules apply to you. Uh, because what would be the true purpose if I got to deal with all of the rules, if I'm running my own business? That, that just, I can't see how that would really be cool. You know, the whole thing is when we start businesses to get a little independence, right? So when you get that independence, you want to be able to do some of the things that you want to do. You only live once, right? <laughs> so it just depends on what you want and how you want it. But on the freight broker side, you don't have to worry about that. So if you might want to take a look at the freight broker business, I'm going to leave a free link in the description. It's my five video series. It's titled How the Load Movement Process Works. It's a little bit different than what you see on YouTube. I am actually going to go into my office and I'm moving freight. And you can see me moving freight. You can see me talking to customers, talking to carriers. That way you can see how it works before you come into it. And then you come into it in the light instead of in the dark. And I also leave a free video right here that gives you insight on working from home as a freight broker full time. So until the next time, I wish you the very best in your life and business. See you at the top because the bottom is much too crowded.